say, get the camera up. Get, get away. <laughs> From prom tickets to flower sales, and from what? <laughs> I really got in the groove there. Why did you have to hope kill that him? Your essay, let's see here. Yikes. Um, I really don't even know what to say. This is awful. I can't read it even. Um, really? I'm like a sponge. I absorb things. You know, I absorb, like, I I'm like a sponge. I absorb things. I'm like a sponge. I absorb things. I absorb things. I absorb things. Patience, my friends. That is how we will achieve victory. <laughs> that is how we rule.
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, well, today I'm going to talk to you about dogs and how to care for them, you know? Have you ever wanted, like, a small, cuddly animal by your side, always running around, just biting, nibbling stuff, so that, you know, you can just enjoy life better, I guess? Uh, well, dogs are for you, then, because right here we have an exhibit, er, exhibit A of a dog. It's, it's a dog. What more do you want? What they need, obviously, now, in order to survive, you gotta feed them, you gotta walk, you gotta give them water, and you gotta, you know, pet them. Just, uh, you know, just, just pet them. You know, if you have a dog or any animal at all, just pet them. Pet them. Go pet them right now. What are you doing, watching this? Now, what you want to do when you have a dog like this? This one is my own dog. I, I called him Lucky. He, he He's old, but he still likes to play, you know? Like, I mean, but obviously right now he's just lying down. He's not really doing much. That's because he's just old and fat, you know? Now, if you have, if you just bought a, a dog, or you like, I would recommend buying them from shelters, by the way, because they are basically rescue dogs which is better for them and they don't end up being euthanized more often if you adopt from a shelter. So, what you want to do is you got to care for them. You got to make sure they're happy, you know. You play with them so they, do, they don't get fat and lazy. Well, I mean, they're eventually going to get fat and lazy, but in the future when they're old and can't really do anything at all. I mean, my dog right here, he, he's a pupper. He just loves being petted, just loves, like, the attention, loves running around outside, and he just sits on her deck outside near the pool. You know, he's just happy before he is. Oh, hey, sorry. Had to get a different hair color and a change of clothes, you know? All right, anyways, so where were we? Oh, yes, dogs, right? Or any animal at all. Uh, so these dogs... This one right here, that one, this one, wherever they are. They need love and care. And like we discussed, food and water. And some exercise. Make sure you play with them, walk them, do whatever. I mean, even if they get old. Like my dog right here. Like, you, see how, you see how nice he is? Even though he's not really exercising or eating or drinking or doing anything at all. He's just sitting there. He's enjoying our company basically so what I want you guys to get out of this is how to properly care for animals or specifically dogs but this can apply to basically any animal but as any animal is as every animal is different they're gonna need different kinds of care so let's uh, go over what we discussed already food water some exercise, uh, a lot of sun. Yeah, you don't want them to just sit in the dark all day. But yeah, that's not nothing much I could say more. Oh yeah, other than take them to the vet, take them, get them checked out, do that at least once a year, just so that your dog or animal does not get any diseases or infections, you know. You don't want to deal with all that. You want them to be happy. You don't want them to feel sick all the time, all right? They're, they're just small companions. You need to take care of them, and they'll take care of you. So, my name is Carl Silva, and this is basically about dogs. Good morning, everyone. We hope that you're well rested, because we have an amazing show for you today. From prom tickets to flower sales, and from Wobot to basketball, we've got some stories to talk about, so let's get into it.
The Community Foundation of the Holland Zealand area is now accepting applications from current 9th and 10th graders to serve on the Youth Advisory Committee, YAC. YAC members meet once a month during the school year for grant making, site visits to local organizations, and learning about community needs and philanthropy. If you have any questions, please contact Jessica Lynch at jlynch at cfhz.org or 616-396-6590 to apply online, email Mr. Velkamp, counselor in the South Building, for a link to the online application. Application due ASAP. Prom tickets are for sale during both lunches all week for $45. So grab a ticket or two for you and your date. Seniors, Johnson's will be in the North Building Auxiliary Gym on Tuesday, April 18 during seminar for lunch and cap and gown distribution. Johnson's orders will only be distributed to seniors in good standing, have completed the senior survey, paid their senior fee, taken care of all obligations, and, play, and paid Johnson's in full. Students may pay for their Johnson's order the day of pickup with cash or money order only. Checks will not be accepted the day of delivery. Those seniors still needing to order a cap and gown may do so at www.jostens.com. If you have any questions, stop by the North office to see Ms. Stanley. Have you ever wanted to learn and play chess? Well, you can learn and play ch chess at Chess Club. They meet every Monday after school in the South Library until 4. Looks like our favorite motivational speaker, Mike Smith, has a commercial. Let's take a look, shall we? What's well, one thing that you want your life to be about? Some people call it their calling, some people call it their destiny. If you take a look at your life, ask yourself, what's one thing that I couldn't live without doing? Once you decide what that thing is that you want your life to be about, you've gotta to commit to it and you've gotta let that take root all the way through. It doesn't matter if you're a man, it doesn't matter if you're a woman, it doesn't matter what color your skin is, all that matters is what you build. And right now while you're young and your journey's just beginning, don't make your greatness about money, don't make your greatness about success, Make your greatness about what makes you happy, what you're passionate about, what interests you. My question is, what do you want to spend the rest of your life doing? You see, I think the answer to the, if I won the lottery, what would I do question? The reason I love it so much has nothing to do with money. It has everything to do with where would I spend my time? Where would I invest my passion? I would offer you this thought. What if you chased your passion, not paper? There are so many ways to take the thing that you're passionate about and turn that into a career. But the way that you get there, it's not quick. You've got to value the process and you have to fall in love with learning. You've got to fall in love with the work. You've got to fall in love with the practice. If you can do that, I promise you, that's how you'll grow into your greatness. The Young Democrats will meet in Mr. Strobel's room after school on Wednesday, April 19. Attention all freshmen, sophomore, and juniors. There will be a dual enrollment information meeting on Monday, May 1st at 5.30 p.m. in the LGI room. If you are considering dual enrollment for the next year, please plan to attend this meeting with a parent. Hey, it looks like the West Ottawa Robotics team, Wobot, qualified for the World Championship at St. Louis. Great for them, and we hope they win. All students taking AP exam in May must attend a required bubbling session on Thursday, April 20, in the North Cafeteria during seminar. Students with third hour at South will be released at 1020. Students with third hour at North will be released at 1025. Students should then move immediately to the North Cafeteria, bring a number two pencil. We will begin promptly at 1030. If you're like me and love flowers, head on over to Glenda's Lakewood Floral. You can order flowers for your prom dates and help out since every sale of prom flowers gives 10% of the money towards the senior jungle party. Looks like I made a we are well about my brother. Let's take a look at it right now. I would say when it comes to computers, I'm, I'm probably better at handling the hardware than the software, mostly because the software is a ton of logic that you have to jump through to make things work, while hardware, just building a computer is just kind of putting Legos together. It's relatively easy. 
I'd say my interest in computers started when I went to volunteer at CTE for the first time. Uh, I learned the hardware and sort of what goes into software there. So what have you and CTE done for the West Idaho community? Uh, we hold a number of events and uh, stuff around West Ottawa. And the fall we do the safari run. And then heading towards winter, we do Stuff the Bus, which is the food drive. Then there's Snowball, the semi-formal dance that takes place in January. And coming up will be Wostock, one of um, one of the biggest student-led music festivals in Michigan. In the future, do you see yourself working in a career uh, that revolves around computers? Definitely. That they. Uh, they interest me to a very high degree, and I can't really imagine just stopping uh, doing anything with computers at this point. That train is sailed. Intramural basketball will start on Monday, April 17, from 5 to 6.30 in the North High School Main Gym. Break a sweat for brains. See what you gain. Register for the Break a Sweat of for Brains 5K Walk Run, hosted by the Holland Youth Advisory. Council Special Events Committee on Saturday, April 29th at 8.30 a.m. Proceeds will go towards supporting people struggling with their mental health in the Holland area. You can register at this website. <laughs> Voting for Student Senate Class Officer and Executive Board Members open on Monday, April 17th, and they end Thursday, April 20th. So vote and cheer on your favorite candidates. Unfortunately, we have no more time on the show. But we'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow. So see you until then. Well, hope you have a good day. Okay, go ahead.